Now let's talk about maintenance and serviceability, all done at a ground level. No matter where your machine is built, there's always a cat part available to service or maintain the machine. Let's take a look at when we get in here. Again, we talked about on the 150, we have the availability or we have the ability to drive your maintenance costs down by 20%. And a lot of that is because of the new cartridge style filter. You can see up here in these housings, you have the ability to drain these filters off, being able to spin the filter off and you're re only replacing the cartridge internal portion of the filter. Put a new filter media in, turn, spin it back on, and then let the system bleed out your fuel filters. So with this, you have the up to 1,000 hour service intervals if you would like to for your fuel filters, your engine oil, and your engine oil filters and your hydraulic oil filters. And that really just allows you less fluid, less filters, less downtime maintaining this machine. Also, you don't have the water filter separator anymore. You don't see the bowl down below. You now have a sensor in here and it tells you in the cab if there's water in the filter. And if there is, you just come out and you drain off the water and you go back to work. But as you look in here, everything is laid out really well. You have things that are color coordinated, like for instance, the engine oil fill and checkpoints are both yellow. And that just lets you know that that's what fluid you're taking a look at or needing to fill. As well as your transmission check and fill here is sitting in this area. Now, as part of this too, there is SOS sampling ports that are color coordinated. So if you see a rubber stopper or a rubber plug, that same color as these other fluid compartments, that is your SOS sampling port for taking fluid samples. But as you go through, everything's laid out. And a reminder too is with these machines and really focus on your technician, the wiring harnesses are laid out well. They are color coordinated wires. They're Deutsch style connectors, really just making a, you know, much easier for your technician or for the serviceability of this machine. As we move back here into this area, you know, we have things such as pressure check ports, those black colored caps, allowing you to easily attach if there's an issue to check pressures and do other diagnostic work, as well as you have an optional service light switch that's there that you can check your engine area and check your hydraulic oil, even in low light levels. You have your typically your maintenance or greasing interval chart in this area, as well as just easy access to everything. All right, as we continue on here, want to talk about a couple other things we have. We do have an exclusive fuel shutoff. So if there's an emergency, you can flip this switch and kills the fuel to the machine. Again, industry exclusive type setup. And as we continue on, you'll see master disconnect here. You can easily move, change the disc and pull the key out and be able to lock that down if that's what's necessary. As well as there's an amber light in this area. I want to talk about the tier four, truly transparent to the operator. So they just operate, they put fuel in, they put diesel exhaust fluid in, and it's truly transparent. But at the end of the day, the machine's going to take care of itself. Shut down once it's cooled down, then you'll see this amber light stay on. We recommend you don't shut off the master disconnect until after the amber light goes off because that means the DEF system is purging the system, pulling all that diesel exhaust fluid or DEF back into the tank, preparing and getting the machine ready for the next morning. That is truly transparent to the operator and they're able to just continue to operate, not worry. There might be a little amber light that comes on on the dash that indicates that the machine is regening. All they need to do is keep operating the machine and it'll take care of it. Another thing we've done is when you go to fill the diesel exhaust fluid on this machine, if you have the key on and the master disconnect on and you start to fill the diesel exhaust fluid tank or the DEF tank, when you get to about 90% full, the horn will honk or blow, indicating you're almost full and so you don't overfill that diesel exhaust fluid um, and run it down the tank. And then as we continue on back, we have great access to the cooling system. You can access one side of the coolers here. You have a little door that gets you in between the coolers here. And then we also have an industry exclusive rear swing out door in the back, no tools. 
just press the latch and open it all the way up to 90, giving you unparalleled access to the cooling system on this machine. And if you're in a high debris application, we have an optional reversing fan that just helps prolong the maintenance needed on those coolers by allowing you to set how frequently that fan reverses or purges cleaning off those coolers. You can set those from 20 minutes, every 20 minutes, up to 240 minutes, depending upon your debris and your application.